Cattlemen are corralling cows in the Coal Hollow Fire Burn Scar, racing to get these animals to greener pastures. But this is also, unfortunately, a recovery effort for the cows that died in the fire. News for Utah's Andrew Reeser takes us on their mission. The Coal Hollow Fire not only burned much of this land, but it also burned into the profits of several cattlemen in this area. Oh, yeah. no. From sunup to sundown, they ride. It's going to be fine. 74 year old Eldon Neves. It's pretty hard. Dropping salt licks. Salt just pulls them up on the hill. And truth bombs. There's no sense of crying about something. You just do what needs to be done. Till the cows come home. He's a victim of fire. I probably cussed a couple of times, and you think. Well, we're going to get this done. So far, a large portion of his 468 cows are unaccounted for. He's sure about 10 of them perished in the flames. What happened, they, they tried to come up out of the fire, and then the smoke got them, and they, uh, they just simply died there. One burned so badly, there was no escape from the flooding that came later. And I found her with her feet all burned off. Her hooves actually came off. Because I think she was just torn to pieces. Go on. He says he's projecting he'll lose tens of thousands of dollars because of dead and underweight cattle. Today, he's driving what remains from partly burned areas in the Manti LaSalle National Forest to greener pastures. And while the U.S. Forest Service and ranchers are working together, the USDA requires proof of disaster, which is proving difficult for Neves. In many cases, I won't be able to prove that they were killed because we won't be able to find them. But this is his passion. If you consider the monetary cost of what you're doing, it's, it not, it's not very smart, but it just kind of gets in your blood. And like the land around him, he knows he can flourish. I just love doing it. After the fire. In Utah County, Andrew Reeser, News 4, Utah. The cattlemen we spoke with say it will likely take several years before the land is regrown and they recoup some of those losses.